Okay guys, let's talk about evaluating summation. So before I evaluate, you know, I start talking about evaluating summation, I would like to recall a series. So well, what is, you know, series look like? We talk about series before. So well, series is capital letter S. Well, if I say find the series four, that really means capital letter S four means you add all the sequence, well, sequence one sequence two sequence three so sequence one plus sequence two plus sequence three plus sequence four so this is basically the sum of all the sequence in this case up to four is going to give you the series of four okay so that's the definition now you will clearly see there is going to be some uh, uh, relationship between series and summation it's almost similar stuff right so well, how can I actually come up with the summation? Before I talk about summation, I would like to introduce the symbol. So well, this is a symbol, Greek letter, sigma, we call it sigma. This is the lower limit and this is upper limit, okay? All I, I would like to say this is starting point and this is the ending point and this is expression. So whatever the expression basically, we are gonna substitute something, okay? We're gonna you know, evaluate this expression by substituting with this starting and going all the way with the addition and end with the last one. And of course, so this is means what I've add all of them, add all terms in the range from start to end okay so well uh, let's actually work it out on the next one here so s4 is really means if i would like to introduce the summation i would say well k is equal to 4 or i would not say 4 k equal to 1 and my end upper limit should be 4 so look at this here that's the 1 and that's the upper so 1 is starting and 4 is ending 1 is lower limit and 4 is upper limit it really means s of k is equal to s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus s4 we stop we don't know what is our s so we don't know the value of it actually so as you clearly see this is basically the same thing right okay now we are ready to actually work out with some problem actually here so let's let's take a look on this problem here right i would like to make this one as okay okay so well this one is you starting point that's the starting point start s t r t start and that's definitely ends or upper limit so you substitute the value of k as a zero so first is going to be zero plus we go i don't know how many plus in this case is three okay in this case is going to be three now why did I do that? I want to make sure that whatever in range in the middle, right? So that is the starting number. Well, I would like to put down this one, start, and that's the end. So in between, we're just going to add. Well, is there any other number left in between? Well, clearly, as you see, between 0 and 3, 2, and that's the only one number. Okay, so I can actually say 0 plus 2 plus 3, that would give us five clearly as you see right so again zero plus two no there is something missing right so we have to be very careful here one what is your one right okay so we have to make correction okay so everyone make mistakes so as you see i intentionally make this mistake and i want to make sure that i put all of them in the range so one plus two and of course next one is plus three so that's lovely i can put down plus here or i can just do like this here plus three so what i have well i want to make sure zero one two three starting with zero ending with three look at this starting with zero ending with three zero one two three all of them in between right so well then it's going to give us three plus two is five plus one is six that is the value of this summation 
So, you know, end of the day, we're going to write down the answer like that if you do things manually, actually. So you say k equal to 0. And of course, upper limit is 3. Expression is k equal to 6. That's how actually we write or work, show the work like that. Okay. Now, let's take a look at another one here. So if you have this one, right? So same thing. This is my starting. This is my starting. Okay. And of course, I'm going to come up with, well, down here, I would like to introduce here this one that is going to be my starting k and that is going to be my ending so in between whatever i'll just have to record them so 90 minus 2 times 2 remember that's the first one is starting is 2 so again that is what i meant okay so the 90 minus 2 times 3 the 90 minus 2 times 4 90 minus 2 times 5 90 minus 2 times 6 i should stop here right now okay so that's a stop and that's starting start okay that's a start okay so of course we have to simplify it right so if I simplify it, basically 90 minus 4, which is 86. Next one is 90 minus 6. In this case, is 84. Or oh, seems like 2 going down. So 82, 80, 78. And there is a pattern as you clearly see, right? So it seems like it's an arithmetic sequence also. So what is the value? If you add all this, it should give you 410. Now, how do we write our answer? Okay, so we write our answer sum of k is equal to 2 6 is the upper limit 90 minus 2k is equal to 410 and that's how we come up with the answer all right now let's take a look at another one here okay so while well, this one as you see little bit different okay so in this case i have i so again well same issue so what is the i that's the exponent i and also there is another i so base i so we have to be very careful when we substitute it also when we use our calculator we have to be very careful where we put down substitute the values okay so well i'm gonna put down negative one here to the power i'm changing as a zero and of course zero to the power two clearly okay plus one and of course next one is going to be my negative one to the power one one to the power two plus one negative one to the power two two to the power two plus one and negative one to the power two no we have to make it three sorry about that three three to the power two plus one and negative one to the power four four to the power two plus one clearly as you see down here so i would like to make some notation here you know this is zero that's one that's two that's three that's four and this is zero here changing that's one changing that's 2 is changing, that's 3 is changing, that's 4 is changing, that those are base, okay? So, we basically have to simplify it, well, that first one should be 1, as you clearly see, first one should be 1, and second one should be, well, negative 1 raised to the power 1, and of course, 1 is got 2, so it's going to give you negative 2, negative 2, and next one should be, uh, positive and of course 5 and the following one should be 3 squared is 9 plus 1 is 10 which is negative 10 and of course we have another one here right so 4 squared is 16 plus 1 is 17 and of course this is going to be positive and of course we just add all of them so if we add all of them it's going to be um, clearly as you see uh, 17 take away 10 which is 7 plus 5 is 12 12 take away 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, so that's 
11. So how do you write our answer? Sum of i is equal to 0, upper limit is 4, negative 1 to the power i, i square plus 1 is equal to 11. That's how we write down the answer for this kind of problem. Now, I would like to show you the calculator actually, how you are going to use your calculator. Okay. So, remember, this is open parentheses negative 1 to the power 0. Well, I want to notice that I didn't, this is not a power though. So, we have to adjust. You know, easily you can make mistake. So, delete it. And that is the power zero and you go to the right here a little bit you have to go to the right and open parentheses zero square or power whichever way you want to use it so this looks like a square and of course this time is plus one and close parentheses you can just enter look it gives you one that's the first one here now you want to do the second one again so negative one to the power to the power one let's do this one and of course you have to go down here that is that is important otherwise your answer is going to be wrong and of course one to the power one uh, okay one to the power two in this case here because those two stay the same go down plus one enter and you see that's negative two it's matching as you clearly see i want to show i would like to show you another one here actually so open parentheses and negative one to the power two and of course we must go down and then open parentheses two to the power two i would like you i like to use this one actually here yeah. or you can do a square so you don't have to go down plus one close parentheses enter clearly as you see five so all of them is working as you see right so yeah that's how actually you work it out with the calculator okay so i hope you understand how to evaluate um you know summation and i have various examples to show you here uh, you can check back again go rewind and check it out if it makes sense or not okay thank you so much for watching this